Playboy rules. So let's uh, get to the crew. I'll introduce them to you. I got two girls. I have flown 23 missions. That means all I got to do is fly two more missions and I get to send them home. As an added feature, I'm going to show you, I might be starting this campaign as early as Monday. Because I think I got the nose art done. Let me show it to you real quick. That's the nose art. And I think, I couldn't believe I finished it already. I mean, I think it looks fairly accurate. But anyway... That's the Detroit Lions, and I'm, I'm thinking about starting it Monday. I was going to wait a week, but it's the first week of the NFL, and it's a campaign on the NFL, so I was thinking about start, going and starting it uh, Monday instead of waiting a week. So anyway, um, Playboy Babes, here we go. All right, here we go. For the pilot, we have Captain Kathleen Ann Shower who was uh, Miss May 1985 and Playmate of the Year for 1986. The top turret gunner engineer, we got Master Sergeant Melissa Everidge, who was Miss August 1990. The uh, navigator is First Lieutenant De Deborah Bortman, who was, oh, okay, here it is, Miss December 1976 last century and the radio operator is Staff Sergeant Angela Little oh, where is it oh okay who was uh, Miss August 1998 the tail gunner Staff Sergeant Stacy Fusen who was Miss February 1999 Paul Turret Gunner, Staff Sergeant Janice Pennington. There we go. Miss May, 1971. Port Waste Gunner is uh, Staff Sergeant Denise McConnell, who was Miss March, 1979. And Starboard Waste Gunner is Staff Sergeant Simon Eden, who was Miss February, 1989. And the brand new bombardier is First Lieutenant Hillary Fisher, who is Miss February 2008, one of my favorites. Okay, that is the crew. Take a quick look at the nose art here. What do you think of my uh, Detroit Lions nose art? I was amazed I got it done so quickly. Only spent, I think I spent less than an hour, maybe at the most two doing it. So, all right. Everything's fitting nice and tight in this. I like it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. Okay. <laughs> Not going to mess with it here. Uh, briefing. First target. And then we'll go for Oviat. No, Corsica Resistance Supply Drop. That's what we'll do. I was going to be old, but it's not. It's too far north. All right, here we go, girls. By the way, the uh, radio operator and tail gunner are the two girls that will be sent home, which is uh, uh, Angela Little and Stacy Fusen. I already got their replacements picked out. So.
Excellent. All right. Okay. Oh. oh, we got an injury already. Oh. Lucky shot by a German pilot. That's what it is. Oh, it's kind of boring for now. We just fly until we get over the target. So, sing a song or tell a joke. Do something to entertain you. So, the seven Marines wanted to go on uh, Liberty. So, they went to their sergeant to ask if they could go on Liberty. And the sergeant says, okay, I'll let you guys go on Liberty, but you got to be back here at formation tomorrow morning at 0700. So the Marines agreed. Next morning at 0800, the first Marine comes walking in. And the sergeant's like, you're late, Marine. And he says, I know I'm late, but I had a hot date last night. I lost track of time. I missed my bus. But I was determined to get to base on time, so I hired a cab. We we're going down the road. The cab broke down right in front of a farmer's house. I bought a horse, and we were going down the road, and then the horse just fell over dead. By that time, I was so close to the base that I just walked here, and that's why I was late. So the, the sergeant kind of scratched his head for a second and said, all right, it sounds like a legit story. I'll let it slide this time. So the next five Marines came in with the exact same story. Had a hot date, lost track of time, missed their bus, hired a cab, cab broke down, bought a horse, and the horse fell over dead. So by the time the seventh Marine came in, around noon, the sergeant's like, I'm going to bust all seven of these Marines and they're going to be digging me a foxhole clear to China. So the Marine, the sergeant walks up to him and says, you're late, Marine. He says, I know I'm late, sergeant, but I had a hot date last night. I lost track of time and I missed my bus. But I was determined to get to base on time, so I hired a cab. Then the sergeant butts in and says, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me guess. Your cab breaks down in front of a farmer's house. You buy a horse and then the horse falls over dead, right? And the Marines like, oh no, Sergeant, it was so hard to get through the road with all them dead horses in the way. So there's a good joke. So his doctor calls his patient with the test results he took. He says, I got some good news for you and I got some bad news. What do you want to hear first? So the patient says, well, I want to hear the good news first. So the doctor says, the good news is you got a terminal disease, you got five days to live. The patient's like, oh my God, that's the good news, what's the bad news? The bad news is I've been trying to get a hold of you for three days now. <laughs> Answer your phone. So this old guy goes to his doctor, he gets a bunch of tests taken. And uh, the doctor comes back and he says, I got some good news for you, I got some bad news. Bad news is you, you got Alzheimer's disease. The good news is you can go home and just forget about it. <laughs> there it is. There it is. That's what I was looking for. We are getting close to the target area. Almost on call. As soon as we pass that radar site, go for that pick.
That's our target right there, a little flashlight. some more coffee because all we got to do is head south till we make that hard right turn so be right back Still got a ways to go. Look at that. Oh. So anyway, Jack and Ruth are riding on a motorcycle. Jack hits a bump. Ruth falls off. Jack continues riding ruthlessly. True story. How many times you heard me say that in this game? It's true. It's going to be a lot easier in this mission. Because we won't be harassed going home.
So what do you do with a bomber full of beautiful ladies? You make sure they're all right. You take care of them. You take pictures of them. Top to bottom. Hey, how you doing? Riley PC. Is that it? Riley RC2. How you doing? Glad you could join me. You just missed all my jokes. <laughs> oh. Hey, one more mission. I'm going to send two girls home because they're going to complete their 25 mission requirement. That will be the radio operator, Angela Little, and the uh, tail gunner, uh, Stacy Hughes. And I got to replace them. That's why the sad music's playing. Nah. Let's get down a lot quicker. Emergency dive. Brace for man new third. All right, navigator. Assign us a new course. At two four zero degrees. Two four zero. that runway coming up there it is all right one more mission for two of these girls that means the next mission will be operation avalanche missions for Staff Sergeant Angela Little and 24 missions for Staff Sergeant Stacy Fusion. So 14, 15, 16, 16, 14 or 6 of the girls, 14 missions. 14 missions for the bomber and 6 for the new bombardier Hillary Fisher. Oh all right, one point three million dollars back up for this. <laughs> That's how long I've been playing this game. I mean, it's been a year and a half since I've been playing this campaign. All right, these are the girls going home. And a little. And Stacy Fusion. All right, here we go. Let's hope that Operation Avalanche mission pops up. If not, I'm going to have to go out of the game and get it back in. Yep, I'm going to have to go out of the game so I can have it pop up. That's always the mission I play when I got a girl going home, or a girl or two going home. There it is. All right. Boys. I saw that word boys on there. No, there ain't no boys on this bomber. There is girls. Hot. Steamy hot girls. 
wearing full cold weather gear, of course. They'll be climbing up to about 30,000 feet. Don't want to be naked there. That'll be freeze to death time. So they will be fully closed and protected. And we're going to ask the German fighters to shoot around those two daisy bombs. Make sure they don't shoot, a, shoot them and hit them. Girls are very excited, a little nervous right now, but they're very excited. That must have been a great feeling to have successfully flown your 25 missions. Very few crew members were actually able to do that. Very sad thing. I think about one in four were actually able to do that. Flying these bombers was a dangerous, very dangerous task. The 8th Air Force lost more crew members than the U.S. Marines did during World War II. That's how bad it was. There's that simple little pilot every freaking time. World War One five plane is what he's flying too. Pops out the same time on this mission every time. Same place, same time. You can tell it's a biplane too. It's already smoking. target, a bunker, a man bunker.
Beautiful. JU-88s went down pretty quickly. should be here pretty soon. They are here now. A whole bunch of them jumping us at the same time. We're there, gotta get them tagged, we're there. Two engines. This could get hairy. Thank you. 
almost at high altitude at that point. Alright, now we're at high altitude. Beautiful shooting ball turret gunner. Pennington, outstanding. Beautiful. E E A U T ball. We got it. We oh, gotta head home. Get these girls home safely. There we go. see that but I caught it in time all right I gotta do is go home now Make it home though. We got at least two more lanes left. At least two more lanes left. At least two. Those. Bye. Bye is two in German. Bye. Hans, bye, drei, vier, fünf, sechs, seven, eight, nine, ten, elf, twelve. Bet you didn't know I could count to 12 in German, did you? Ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy. Hopefully we can make it. I got, might have one more lean after this one left. I just activated another one. That gives us 14 minutes of fuel left. Still a ways away. Should be good though. Should be able to make it.
Everybody out too. Cause I lost my landing gear again. Hopefully the bomber will stay together. And I don't have to get another bomber. That's in fairly good shape. That's an engine number three. Other than that, it's in fairly good shape. There it is. All right, everybody is out. So bring this thing down a lot quicker now. Let's hope it survives the crash landing. approach. We're too high to land. She goes. How this thing lands, nobody knows. Come on, nice and easy. Captain Shower, take it down nice and easy. Kathleen Shower, Playmate of the Year for uh, 1986. That should be good. Beautiful. Beautiful. What the heck? Okay. And Bomber Bear would like to congratulate. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, what the? Secondary explosion, what the hell happened? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Hi life, hi life on YouTube and Twitter. How's the UK doing this morning? I just lost my pilot. On a crash landing, that this is just one of those weird things that happens in this game. Crap. Well, there are two girls that are going home. Yeah, I crash landed. I lost my landing gear. The bomber survived. Crap. I don't need a new pilot. Where am I at here? That's where I'm at. I need a new pilot. And I don't have a backup pilot available.
crap. I thought I was a success, successful crash landing. Oh, it looks good for now. I'm glad. I'm glad that things look good over in the UK. Has the heat gone down a little bit? I know you guys are having a heat wave over there, which is unusual for for uh, England to have a heat wave. Man, you gotta be kidding me. I can't believe I lost my pilot. It's one of those things that happens. Ah! Hey, hold on! I want to show you my news, my nose art for a bomber. I might start, I might start the campaign uh, Monday. If not, it'll be another week. But I might start it this Monday. I'm going to start my NFL. The NFL season starts. Uh, well, it started this weekend. It started Thursday night. So I'm going to start doing uh, NFL football team campaigns. So the first one's going to be Detroit Lions. Oh, I think we lost my pilot. Oh, what the heck? I don't know what happened. I mean. It was a successful crash land, the bomber survived, my pilot didn't. Crap. And I heard a secondary explosion and that threw me off. I said, like, what the heck? Transferred all the fuel from the side that had no landing gear to the other side. So it couldn't have blown up because of that. It must have blown up for another reason. Well, it didn't blow up. The bomber's all right. I don't know. Maybe she wasn't didn't have her seatbelt on or something. I don't know. 10 minutes before heading to work. Okay, cool. Well, it won't take 10 minutes for me to show it to you. I gotta check this out first. Look at the stats on this bomber. 250 missions flown. This is the whole campaign, not just this bomber. 5,100 enemy fighters destroyed, 261,472 miles flown, 556 targets destroyed, three bombers lost, nine crew lost, $392,465 spent, 286 recon photos taken, 197 crew members rescued. Let me show that Detroit Lions uh, campaign I'll be starting probably Monday. I got I to gotta have my son show me something, how to do something. Right here it is. You ever seen the Detroit Lions or their uh, logo? There it is. I'm not only impressed at how well I did, I'm impressed at how quickly I did it. So. But. I think I took it. I think it took me less than two hours to do it. Okay, I'm going to have to end this live stream because I do not have a, pi a backup pilot available. So I'm going to have to end my live stream. Um, but anyway, I wanted to. Oh, so I'm disappointed. I can't believe I lost my pilot. Anyway. Oh. But. Well, you know what? I can go ahead and replace the two girls that I was sending home and go ahead and replace them. Let's replace these two girls. Uh, 
Angela Little. There's one girl. I need my glasses for all this stuff. She got she went home, so Gillian Chan is her replacement. And she is Miss November 19, or Miss 19, Miss November 2019, <laughs> not Miss November 1919, Miss November 2019. Okay, Gillian Chan, and then the tail gunner, beautiful blonde, Stacy Fusion, is being replaced by Miki Kamano. Oh, Sir Henry. Yeah, that'll have to do. Um, all righty. And now I got to find a new pilot. Crap. Definitely going for 140 speed on this. I'll mess around with this for a few minutes and then I'll quit. Can't believe I lost the pilot in a crash landing where the bomber survived. Has anybody ever seen that? If you played this game, have you ever seen that? Losing the pilot when the when crash landing when the bomber survived? I've seen it when the bomber doesn't survive and breaks apart. But not when the bomber survives. I've never seen that before. But then I guess you see all kinds of things playing this game for a year and a half like I've been doing. So anyway, uh, man, that sucks. I'm going for 140 speed. And I'm not going to get it. All right. I'm going to have to say goodbye. I can't launch a mission until I replace that dead pilot. Makes a good screenshot. All right. I'm Corky Duke, CorkyDuke.com is my website. Like, comment, share my video, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd appreciate it. You'll be helping me out. Won't help cost you any money. Um, I gotta, I gotta, like I said, I gotta pick out a playmate of the year for the new pilot. Um, Captain Kathleen Ann Shower was Miss May 1985 and Playmate of the Year for 1986 and she flew 14 missions until she was killed in action. Uh, thanks for watching 